All right, guys, welcome back to the Rocco Taco Mining channel. Hey, I have another tip for you on how you can monitor products and get alerts or notifications on when they become available in stock, and you may have a chance uh, to purchase them. So this is an extension. I use Brave Browser. The reason I use Brave Browser is because it blocks ads on YouTube, on everything it blocks ads, and it gives you notifications on an ad and if you click on it and you sign up with their brave rewards program you get paid in bat basic authentication token which is their crypto and it's not doing that bad so it's kind of cool that you get paid to watch ads they kind of flip the whole paradigm of browsing because the philosophy is if stuff is free then you're the product look at google facebook gmail all this stuff right you sign up for even youtube you're being tracked. Your patterns are being tracked. Your behaviors are being tracked. Brave flips it, and they um, basically reward you for watching ads. And I can watch any YouTube video on my Brave browser. I don't have to worry about any of the ads embedded in the play of an ad or before and after the ads. If they have inline video ads, of course, I can't get around that. I love it. I, don't, I have not seen an ad at all. Uh, sometimes when I go to my smart TV and I bring up the YouTube app and I see ads, I freak out. What is this? What is this heresy? So I am definitely not used to ads because it's all trash. You don't need the crap. Um, yeah. This channel is not monetized. This YouTube channel, just so you know. It's new and it is not monetized. About the only thing I got is affiliate links. Woohoo, big deal. I get paid a penny for every $20 million spent, right? It's ridiculous. So how do you monitor products if they change other than writing your own Python script to go out and monitor site and spend hours and hours and hours learning how to do it? It's... You can try this thing. I just saw this today. I'm trying it to see if it works. Uh, just on the most popular thing. What is the most popular things right now? Besides GPUs, it's gaming consoles. Uh, what are those things? Um, Xboxes and PlayStation 5s, PS5s. So let's go out and I will show you. I will show you how to do it. And you can try this with me as well and do a, um, do a, uh, a test. So let's get rid of the doggy. Transition out. All right, I am on Google. Uh, we're gonna go find an extension and it's called Page Probe. This is a newer one I just found. There's other ones out there. Uh, but you have to pay to be able to monitor more than two um, sites. Page Probe. It's not perfect, I don't think, but this is better than nothing, right? Page Probe, Chrome, extension yeah, let's try that all right so i'm going to click on the first link page pro automatic page monitor chrome.google.com so make sure you're kind of on a chrome site so you're not installing something crappy you should be on a nice chrome.google.com site verified right uh, then you can go basically Say so here it is. Go read through it. Again, do your own research. Do not listen to any idiot on YouTube or the internet. Even me. I'm just an idiot sitting here in front of a computer doing what everybody else could do. I'm just kind of throwing this stuff out there for something to consider. It may help you with buying stuff that is very hard to get. GPUs especially. And if you look at my other video about how NVIDIA is selling, you know, special deals to uh influencers or people with big server farms you know behind everyone's back you know this may be an edge to counteract that i don't know what do i know right so this is for you to go check it out it is um page probe whole whole write up on it and the beauty of this there's no sign up or anything you just install it in your browser as an extension if you hate it you basically uninstall it and say oh all right at least you tried something right so I'm going to go add to Chrome. This is on a different browser. I'm on Chrome on this one, I think. Yeah, this is on a, uh, I'm on a VM right now, virtual machine. So that's why I'm doing it on here. Because I don't want to mess up my other machine where I have it already installed. Uh, go in, add page probe, automatic page monitor. Say yes. It installs it. I don't do this sync stuff. And it's going to be up here. You click on the little puzzle. There's page probe. I always pin it. And so now what you do, you go to a page. So let's try to find a page. And of course, I don't bookmark stuff. Hold on a sec. 
Let's go to Best Buy. Let's go to Best Buy, okay? Holy crap. All right, there's Best Buy page. Oh my God, PS5 sold out. So I have the uh, page probe right here, the little shield up here. I right click on the sold out, right? And down here you see track content. Track content, see that? Let me do that again. Click too many times. So right click, I mouse over the sold out, right click, track content, menu pops up, boom. You can play with these intervals, but I don't know if you peg it too many times, they might ban your IP, so just be careful. Start with like a few minutes, do like five minutes. You can do a random add-on to they randomize it so it's not consistently every minute. I know why they did that, because the websites will detect patterns. If you're hitting every minute, exactly, boom, 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 from this IP, they may block your IP address, which is not a good thing. So just add on, just to be safe, if you wanna play with this five minutes plus one minute. If you know they're gonna push stuff out, I mean, you can do one minute with a random interval if they're going to drop. They call it drop products and put make them available. The problem is you're fighting all these retail bots. and But these sites are getting better at blocking retail bots because the retail bots are going there super fast. They're co-located with the Amazon servers or these retail servers, and they're super, super fast. But the retail bots now know, I mean, the um, websites now know that, hey, this must be a bot. He's too fast. So they will throttle that. So if you come in almost like human interaction, you have a better chance of getting it. So you go in here, every five minutes, you can add a condition, all conditions. You can do an action, this is what I do. If you have a Discord page like I set up, you can say Discord to a webhook URL, post the URL to your webhook, and be good to go. Oh, you can do multiples, I didn't know this. I'm learning too with you guys. But you can play an audio, you can show a notification. I don't know what notification. Look, you can add multiple actions. Oh, a Telegram message. I'm going to do this one. So you can do a Telegram message. Pretty cool. You get a host, play audio, play audio URL. Look at that. You can send all these notifications so when you get them on your phone, boom, you just start hitting the link and you're good to go. And you just save it. Kablamo. Save that. And if you want to see all your saved settings, go up to the blue shield, click on it, click general. And then there you go, you see your setting and you can go in and you can actually edit it. Look at that, you can edit it and change anything you don't want. Like, ah, I don't want these things. Take them out, save it, change the interval, all that good stuff. Anyway, thought this was useful. Page Probe extension for Brave and Chrome. Brave is built off of Chrome, so same difference without the ads. So something to check out, let me know what you think, give it a shot. Give it a shot. Let me know what works for you. I'm doing it for a bunch of PS5s and Xboxes and a couple 6600 GPUs just to see if they come in stock and get the notifications. And what I do now, I'm actually set mine up. If I do get the notifications, they will go to my Discord in the InStock Alert channel. So if you want to even just go to my Discord, you can see if what came in recently, right as of now, as of December 19th. Uh, two o'clock, nothing has come in, so I just set it up. All right, good stuff. Go check it out. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Blammo.